What's going on guys, Matthew Monis here. And I hate to say this kids, but back to school is just around the corner, which means it's time to buy a few things. Today I'm gonna to talk about some of my favorite laptops that I've reviewed this year that I think are perfect for back to school. Now, first up is the 13 inch Ultrabook, and usually I'd recommend the Dell XPS 13. I think it's a great laptop, but ever since I've reviewed the Huawei MateBook X Pro, this is my go-to 13 inch Ultrabook for most recommendations. This thing is small, it's portable, it has two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, a USB-A port, an insane display that's not only super bright at over 500 nits of brightness or 450 nits of brightness, it's also a three by two aspect ratio, which is much better to do your schoolwork on. The speakers, the best I've heard on an Ultrabook except for a MacBook Pro, the build quality is good, has a fingerprint sensor, but most importantly, it has a dedicated GPU, the MX150. This gives it an advantage over the Dell XPS 13 because you have a lot more power to do your work. So you can game on this very lightly, you can do Illustrator, you can do Photoshop, all in a 13 inch form factor. Now let's say you're a content creator, want something that's light and easy to carry around school, doesn't have a huge power supply, then you have to take a look at the Dell XPS 15. I know it thermal throttles, but it doesn't thermal throttle as bad as the new MacBook Pro 15. And it's still more than powerful enough to do all your content creation on. Especially if you're a video editor, this thing has a GTX 1050 Ti in here. You can spec it up all the way to an i9, and it's still portable enough that it's not gonna hurt your back while you're carrying this around campus. Now, if you're a content creator who draws and sketches, then you're better off getting a Surface Pro, or if you need the horsepower, I get the Surface Book. This thing is even more powerful if you buy the 15 inch model, it has a GTX 1060 inside of here, has better battery life than the Dell XPS 15, and you can also use it as a tablet. The pen input on the Surface line is really great, and it's just an all around good laptop. Now, if this is too expensive, I take a look at the Dell XPS 2-in-1, that's also a great option, and if that's too expensive, I take a look at the HP Spectre X360 with the Intel AMD GPU. Now let's say you are a content creator and all the suggestions I just mentioned are still a bit too expensive. Then you have to start taking a look at mid-range gaming laptops. I suggest two models right now. You can either go for the Dell G7, which offers an all-around balance. The display is not as color accurate as I want it to be, so you'll have to hook it up to an external monitor, but there's more than enough horsepower in here to get your work done. For example, there's a 1060 Max-Q, Thunderbolt 3, the thermals are pretty good. And because you have that TB3 down the road, if you need to hook up a more powerful GPU, at least you have that option. Now, if this is not what you're looking for, my other suggestion is the Acer Predator Helios 300. That you get more value for the money. You get a full size GTX 1060, even though the design is really ugly, you do get a more powerful laptop and most importantly, a more color accurate display. Now let's say these are all too much for you and you want something that's very small and portable. If you need a laptop first, a tablet second, I really suggest the Surface Go. It has just enough power to be used to take all of your notes down. You can buy a pen to sketch and draw, which it does fantastically. And the best part about it is it's a full Windows laptop. So you can run every single Windows laptop or Windows app that's in the store right now. Just mind you, the hardware is not as powerful enough to run, let's say, Photoshop full time. But if you have to quickly edit a photo, it can kind of do that. Just don't expect to game on it and watching movies on it's not gonna be as nice as the iPad Pro. Now, since we're talking about the iPad Pro or the iPad in general, it's still a great option as well. It's a good size, it's a great tablet, especially for media consumption. Sketching on it is fantastic and it also acts as a laptop. Now, obviously you can't multitask as well as a Windows PC, but it's still good enough to take down notes. And last up on the list is the budget pick. This goes to the Acer Aspire E15. This is a great budget choice for about $600 to $650. Inside of here, you get the latest 8th gen Intel CPUs. It has amazing battery life getting you through the entire day. And it has a dedicated GPU, just like the Huawei MateBook X Pro, allowing you to do more intensive tasks that you couldn't do on a regular Ultrabook. Now, the crazy thing about this laptop is the amount of I.O. You have a DVD-ROM, something you thought you'd never see in 2018, and you even have a VGA port on the other side, 
Really great for those of you taking network admin courses, you can easily hook it up to your network equipment. You have your USB 3, USB Type-C, which is not Thunderbolt 3, and an SD card reader directly in the front of the laptop. Now, if you, this is not available to you in your market, check out the Acer Aspire 5, it's pretty much the exact same thing, or the Acer Swift 3, if you don't care to have a DVD or a VGA port. So that pretty much wraps up my top laptop picks for back to school. I think there's pretty much something for everyone in this video. Links to everything will be in the description. If you have questions about any of them, hit me up on my Discord. If you wanna see behind the scenes, follow me on Instagram, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.